Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a sensor complaint. I am having two mobile phones. There are many sensors in our mobile like compass sensor, thyro sensor which is used for playing games etc. And there are so many sensors also. For talking in phone without any disturbance there is a sensor named proximity sensor. All phone has a front camera. So near that we could see two holes that is called as proximity sensors. So these holes are called as proximity sensors. When we call someone and keep it near the ears, the display will power off. After taking it out, the display will again work. So these two holes near the front camera is known as sensor holes. Sensing that is called as a proximity sensor. Automatic call record, call on hold or automatically the phone will disconnect. For that issues, the proximity sensor has been used. So now I am having two mobile phones. So the automatic call record or automatic call on hold or automatically the phone will get disconnected. So due to that this proximity sensor has been there in the mobile phones. So let me call you and show. So I am calling you and showing. Now when I hide it with my hand the mobile display will be off. And after taking my hand it is on. So this is a mobile which has no compliance. This doesn't have any complaint. So this is the mobile which has a complaint and already I have fixed it in a DC machine and have given the supply also. Could you able to see? Yes. So I am calling from it. Immediately after dialing the display is off because it has a issue. My sensor is here manually when the power button is on the only display will be on. So now we will see how to solve this issue. This is the proximity sensor issue. So we are going to see how to fix the proximity sensor problem in this compliant phone. Immediately after dialing the display gets off. Remove the cap over there. This is the fault. So only screen is off after dialing. Power supply is given and LED intimation is also given. I have grounded one point and another point and supply line by using the multimeter. The battery voltage is split up and produced. The voltage is produced. Supply pin have been checked and now we are going to check the ground pin supply by using the DC machine. So these are the sensor holes. And now we'll check the ground pin in this mobile and it gives a intimation also. So now I am going to fix it in the multimeter in continuity mode and now I am checking the ground point. Even if there is any dust on this board it may hide the sensor and maybe for that the sensor is not working. So clean with IPA and check. I am checking the ground pin now and it gives me a intimation LED light. Supply is correct now but data signal. The signal should be correctly given so that 
only sensor will work. Check the voltage and the data signal. For setting the track line and I am fixing the props in positive and negative. And one prop is in the positive and another prop is in the capacitor in ground. We will see where it is going from this capacitor and it is going to this resistor. It will be near the resistors or segments. So it will be in the nearby resistors or segments only. If everything is fine then the problem is with the sensor. So we should replace the sensor. We can also replace it with another mobile or you, we can purchase it in the market and you also can replace the sensor in your mobile phone or by checking the track line if you find any problem you may replace it. Now I'm again checking the ground pin with the multimeter by using the continuity mode. So everything is fine with the capacitor, resistor and also with the data signal also. Then the problem is definitely with the proximity sensor. So we should replace the sensor or by checking the track line if you find any problem you can also replace the track lines. Only by then we could solve this proximity sensor problem or else if you do not replace the proximity sensor you should cut the lines which are going to the sensor. For example, when we remove the capacitor or resistor, the power supply line should be cut. If so, the display won't power off. Only by manually, you can power off the display button and also you should power off it. When we are calling, you should manually power on the button and you should power off the power on button. If you cut the lines going to the proximity sensor, this will happen. You should work manually with your mobile phone. It will not work systematically. If you cut all the lines which are going to the sensor, every process should be done manually by you. So only by replacing the proximity sensor, this problem could be solved. So friends, hope you all have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.